guys, Bibi chan here. How are you guys doing? So right now we're gonna get into One Piece manga chapter 898 will definitely return. So who's that talking about? Peckham. Oh my gosh, I hope he's okay. I hope we save him. Jerma's back. Uh, Pirates, I don't know. But let's get into the cover page. Oh, and I'm reading this on Jamie's box. Links down below. Anyways, uh, Tales of the Cell Proclaimed Straw Hat Grand Pirate Fleet Volume 30 Hadogen Arc on the Deserter List of Buggy's Delivery Giant Warrior Pirate The New Giant Warrior Pirate Navigator Road And there's a Strelik and he's like He was first mentioned in Chapter 866 Was he? I don't remember Probably talking about him I have to go back because I don't remember And yeah, he looks pretty cool Like kind of menacing his eyes like given that look and he's got some hair covering part of his face like Sanji and he kind of reminds me I think it's a scarf of uh, that one dude in Buggy's Pirates I don't know I think it's a striped scarf even his cape is striped he's got a huge cape and yeah he's got a pretty long sword and he's reading off of some script but he's the navigator so that's what he does anyways um yeah the last chapter um that giant pirate Stanson, someone mentioned to me he was also the giant in the auction house on uh, Shabadi with Rayleigh. So interesting, I didn't even remember, so thanks for telling me. And let's get into the chapter. It's a double spread. So, Jerma attack. Let's see. Even if you shoot them, bullets aren't working. What the hell is up with these guys? Fire, fire, bring over the bazooka. We see this three brothers. Reiju's hidden in the back, but they're all shooting, but nothing works because. Pretty sure they're exoskeleton, unless they're, uh, you know, their costume, their germa cape is protecting them somehow. I'm pretty sure both works. But Ichiji's like, Sanji, take that wounded guy and leave the island already. You're in the way. Take the wounded guy. Sanji looks over, and yeah, you can hear the sounds, boom, boom, boom in the back. And Luffy's fast asleep. I mean, yeah, he needs the rest, regain his strength. Um, Niji's and Yonji's like, we won't forgive the ones who tricked us. Reiju's like, this island is Jerma 60, Jerma double six. Pray, Sanji. And one of Big Mom pirates, he looks like a kid. Got hair and hat covering his eyes, shooting. So the stories of these guys being cyborgs with metal skin were all true. Okay, that explains it. There's Oven. We're gonna get a fight between Oven and Ichiji because Ichiji was totally destroyed by Katakuri, right? Katakuri was just holding him by the cape, like, <laughs> so he needs to get redemption by fighting Oven, who is Katakuri's twin triplet, triplet. Um, and they're like, how did you survive? They don't know about the false report. And it says, New store, I can't say the guy's name, New store's 10,000 soldier army should have crushed your kingdom. Oh, those guys? A swarm of flies did come, but we threw them all into the sea. Even if our scientific power had been stolen, what could a bunch of idiots do with it anyways? That's true, you need the knowledge to use their tech. But anyways, back to normal, single page. Big Brother Nu- Oh my gosh. Big Brother Nustort Baskarat <laughs> Dos Mark. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, please respond, Big Brother. It's as I thought. Ever since Peckham's betrayal. Unbelievable. Also, Peckham's had a... Was part of it? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> Tamago uh, or Viscount Chick is just like freaking out in the background. Just ah! <laughs> It's funny. Oh, the way he looks. I can't tell if he's flapping his wings or if he's like doing one of these. Unbelievable things have been happening, Vosprat. We were told that Germa was subjugated. How did their fleet appear at Cacao Island, Suar? And looks like, um, wait. Twelfth son of the Charlotte family, Nosard, and he's fainted. Glasses broke. He kind of looks like Tamago. And fire, Germa. Judge is probably in the back because he's the king. He's like ordering. Doesn't want to face Sanji. And yeah, they got a whole bunch of ship. I heard someone was saying like if Oven could like projectile his fire accurately, like depends on the range, maybe he could like burn all the Jerma ship. Yeah. But anyways, they're firing. Smoothie, hurry and make your action. What have you done, girl? Smoothie's like, don't be distracted by Jerma's fleet. Our focus is the straw hat ship. And tell the whole fleet to surround the island. Yes, ma'am. And Daifuku over there. Oh, Daifuku, I guess he got on Smoothie's ship because I think his ship was attacked and by a Carrot, right? Uh, Mont and Daifuku's like, Montador and the others, it looks like they were outsmarted by Jerma. You were as well, weren't you, big brother Daifuku? That's why I've caught up. Yeah. 
that's why I've caught back up. And they're chasing after Thousand Sunny. What do you think about Germa's appearance? Are they enemies or are they allies? Jimmy's like, do you think they'd come here just to claim our heads when they could have gone away already? It's kind of like that's true. Maybe they want their own revenge. Maybe if they think they can defeat Big Mom's Piper, they can get some fame too. Or maybe they just want to repay Sanji and Luffy. I think it's a little bit of all of those. Yeah. Nami's like, they helped us once before, but putting trust in them now is... Yeah, and you know Reiju, she ain't gonna leave Sanji there. So even if, like, the three brothers, like, don't care, Reiju cares, is what I think. I hope. I mean, I like Reiju. So I hope, yeah. And what happened to Pudding, too? I wanna know. Anyways, um, then the Mushi's ringing. Buru, 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 crack. Uh, Jinbei, can you hear me? Sanji, pass through the port at full speed. We'll definitely return to that ship at that time. Okay, so probably when they pass by, jump on, and is that it? The escape? Big Mom hasn't eaten the cake. She's getting further away. All right. Let's go, Jinbei, to starboard. Okay. Don't let Blackleg get away. Everyone, spread out. Crush Germa. Where are they? More explosions are happening. Gah! We can't see them because of all the dust. And, yeah, there are Big Mom's pirates flying all over. Flying back. Oh, Sanji's kicking him. Like, it looked like Sanji couldn't handle it, but now, like, he's kicking him out of the way. I hear, like, hopefully his theme is playing. I hope nothing happens. Still waiting for Sanji's moment. Uh, chapter 900 better do that for us, right? Because last moment, you think you got it, and it's like, no, because German had to take the spotlight. So we're still waiting for that Sanji moment, guys. All right. He's kicking his way out. I can just hear it. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay, get back to it. Huff, huff, there they are. Don't let them get away. Um, looks like brulee, right? Okay, that's right. You definitely le can't let him get away. Stry and Luffy, he's the only one who absolutely can't get away. <laughs> Sorry, my voice is raspy. I'm trying to do a brulee. Yeah. He didn't make it here by diverting Big Brother's Katakuri's attention. Let me tell you what really happened in the mirror. Okay, what is her, like, interpretation of what happened? Can she explain what happened? Okay. Big brule big sis brulee, the perfect, strongest, and absolutely best big brothers of ours, Katakuri, was. Is she gonna lie? Is she gonna say the truth? She's crying, so she can't believe her brother has lost, so I think she's gonna say it. Let's see it. Has been defeated by Straw Hat Luffy Big Mor Big Morgan's <laughs> right to news. Alright. Like she just shouted it out to the whole world. She couldn't like kept secret about it. I mean, maybe they would have made the discovery later and just like hush hush, right? But she just blurted it out. I mean, yeah, she just like why would she do that? Like why? They're all shocked. Like, I just felt like, oh, a revelation. Like, I, we already know this, but it just seems like so much more because everybody knows now. I mean, they don't have proof. They just hear Brule saying it, but they know Brule's on their side. They're all shocked. Look at all them exclamation marks. And Oven is just all, sh like, what did you just say? They're like, what? Nani? Nani kore? Nani? Ah, Montador is screaming. I mean, he was the one who's like in disbelief, like, Gold Roger could escape. I, I don't know why he said that. I think he was just throwing off uh, Big News Morgans, but his tongue out shocked. And Sanji, through all of this chaos, can escape through all the shock. I mean, he already knew Luffy can do it. He confirmed with Luffy, but Luffy's still snoring away. That's just him. Not paying attention to surrounding. I mean, he's sleeping. But anyways, I see Oven making a move. But anyways, um, he's like, Katakuri, your legendary undefeated record was was broken by that little kid. That's a lie. There's no way Big Brother would lose. Big Brother Katakuri couldn't have. And just Brule is just exhausted from that shouting, and she's just screaming, crying. Ah! And they're all shooting towards Sanji. He must have used some some kind of dirty trick. Unforgivable. Kill him. Slice him into shreds. And they're aiming for him. Destroy every last piece of him. An oven right behind him holding his spear just ready to slash through Sanji. Like this is the fight. Because remember Sanji was able to like quickly go grab. Was it uh. I forgot. Was it Chiffon? Yeah, he quickly saved Chiffon, and Oven's like, what the hell was that? Like, he didn't even see that coming, so let's see how it goes. I hope... Oh, uh, wait. How dare you, Straw Hat? Kill him, Big Brother Oven. Okay, it's Ichiji? That's Ichiji, right? No, I don't want Ichiji to take the moment. 
I know I said at the beginning, like, Ichiji should, like, defeat Oven just because, like, he was defeated by Katakuri. But I wanted this to be Sanji's moment. Although, I heard maybe Sanji's moment would be having to fight Daifuku since at the wedding, uh, Sanji didn't get to defeat Daifuku. So, hopefully it's that. Chapter 900. Alright, so Ichiji just like sparkling those eyes. These are the same eyes Luffy makes when he sees a huge amount of food. So, it kind of looks like some kind of comedy. You can't see. But, <laughs> so, it's so bright. He closes his eyes. Double spread. And all three... Wait a minute. Wait, who was... I... Ichiji just took out like five dudes. Like, psh, and then... Yeah, five dudes are flying. At first, I thought those were the other Germans, but no. These, this is just Ichiji and his rage. Just, ah! <laughs> Look at his mouth and his eyes just has this, like, little bit left over of that fire. Yeah, and all of them are just pierced by some kind of, looks like light. I'm not really sure Ichiji's power. Oh, let's see. The Valkyrie Kanji reads light fist. Okay, some kind of light fist. And then... Whoa, he took out Oven? It's, I don't know how much weaker Oven is compared to Katakuri because Katakuri is like right here, but damn! Big Brother Oven! Fly, Sanji! Oh, and still letting him get away. Yeah, I mean, Oven is not down. He's just took a big hit and he just needs a moment. Grr, tap, tap, and Sanji's flying away. Big Brother Oven! Huff, huff, Ichiji! Hand him over, Black Leg! Okay, he's facing that guy again. Luffy, oh, I was just gonna say he needs redemption, but I just saw Yonji. I just saw Yonji. Okay, so everyone that's gonna get in the way, Sanji's gonna take care of. I mean, um, you know, uh, Jerma's gonna take care of him. Mmm, kinda sucks, but I get it. But they got their costume on. If, I mean, if Sanji had a costume. But that's not, that's not the point. And it's that guy again with the big spear ball. Yeah, cannon thing. I'll smash you back down to the ground again, you! And he's a... No! He didn't even get to swing it! Um, apparently, Yonji just smashed through it, I guess. Like, you could just see him and the after, like, you. it didn't see it happen. It, you just saw the thing smash and then Ichiji standing like, look at my glory. But we, we know Sanji defeated him. I mean, maybe if Sanji wasn't holding Luffy and he... I don't know if Sanji's tired, because he just made some cake. He probably ate, so he's not, like, tired. Only Luffy's tired, but... He has to hold Sanji. I mean, he has to hold Luffy. Another double spread. Oh, no. It still continues. He grabs the dude, and he just, like, swings him around and around, crushing all of the houses in the, in the area and any enemies in the way, too. Looks like he took out another, it's like, seven, eight, nine dudes. And then... Yeah. Oh, did he did he put on a, a pair of like sunglasses? Yeah. Oh, he's like screaming. I don't know if it hurt. No, I think he's just screaming from the power. And Sanji keeps going. Shoot him! He's above the roof! How dare you do that to Master Uh how dare you do that to Master Katakuri? They're shooting. Sanji looks back, but Niji j comes in there and just flies Sanji out of there really fast. Damn. Like, this is the despicable Niji. I don't want to like him, but he's okay right now. Just He's like, going at that speed, you're just going to be shot full of hoes. Niji. Ah! Okay, this is this is like the Jerma spotlight in this chapter. And what is Reiju going to do? Anyways, it's still Niji's turn. He's using his light speed sword. And he just, like, crushed, he just sliced any enemy in the way really fast. Henry Blazer. Yeah! Okay. Uh, Kanji reads, Electromotive Light Sword. Alright. Oh no, Master Oven! Straw Hat is getting away! Okay, this happened pretty fast, so I think the amount of time it takes for Oven to realize or get going is like gonna be a bit too late since like they're going so fast but anyways he's he looks and he's like teeth he's, he's getting away and niji just gives this like really excited look he's like adios you good for nothing and then he shoots off oh no he like throws he's he just throws sanji <laughs> like uh i don't know this just looks like a throw that the giants threw Usopp. like and then sanji's just like going forward like, ah! 
Okay, but he's screaming, whoa! And I'm pretty sure he's throwing him towards the Thousand Sunny. And Oven gets up. He's like, snack! Snack! Bowie! Chonde! Okay, snack! We know he's not a sweet commander, ex-sweet commander, but let's see what he can do. Is he still worn out from uh, Uroge's? Or is he like, okay? Anyways, everything is a mess because like, even though the Dende Mushi is speaking out, it looks like they're preoccupied with the other German ship. It's like, and the uh, Dende Mushi is like, shoot them down at the port, they're heading your way. Hey, isn't the transponder snail saying something? Yeah, so they're not paying attention. Sanji flies over them, and even if like, they stop flying, Sanji can just run across the sky at this rate. We'll definitely make it, get the tear glass ready. Okay, they're aiming for him still, there's some people who got the news, and it's all It'll all be fine if we just take away his ability to fly. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. I see my girl. I see my girl. Okay, let's do this. Three, two, and before he can make a move, a shot of the gas goes through him, and he's like, ah, ah, what's the matter? I won't forgive anyone who lays a hand on my younger brother. Ooh. Yeah, I can't really tell what her hand is doing, but anyway, she just stands right there with her hands on her hips, Jerma, she's remembering that time, that time when, like, when she's like, go find the people who will believe in you, that, the Robin moment, it's like, do you understand, don't ever come back here, run, and this time, don't come back, is, is showing the flashback, implying, this is it, like, I, I hope they get to, like, see each other one more time for a real goodbye, like, this can't be the last goodbye, right, I, I would hate for this to be their last goodbye, like, run, Pink Hornet, and don't come back. Don't come back. Or does she mean just don't come back here or don't come back so I'll never see you again? Like, please, just one more. And she uses her butterfly poison thing. Pink Hornet, yeah, takes out the guys. And uh, Straw Hat has escaped from the island. Mayfully responds, hurry, Sanji. Ah, he said, Karen, they're coming, everyone. Sanji is carrying Luffy. They did it. They did it. They returned. Sanji! Nami and Chopper so excited. This is just like last time. Luffy! Everything is going their way. I can see it now, Luffy. It's the Sunny to the arms of their crew. And that's the end. So, when Oven was calling the other dudes, Joconde and Brown... Brownie? Or, yeah, Brownie, because it has to be a dessert. Those guys haven't made a move. Maybe Daifuku hurt the attack and he's on his way. Smoothie is like chasing them. Smoothie and Daifuku. And, you know, Smoothie was like, don't pay attention to the Germas. We're just focusing on your straw hat. So... I'm thinking chapter 900 would be Daifuku Smoothie versus the Straw Hat. They want to like end off the Jerma fighting them, but we got to see them one last time for like a final closure, you know? I would love to see a hug between Sanji and Reiju, like, thank you for loving me. Just thinking about it makes me so happy and emotional, like I would love to see Asanji and Reiju just final farewell. And Pudding too! What happened to Pudding? Pudding-chan! I think Pudding did erase Sanji's memories just because he's not worrying about her. He hasn't mentioned her. But it could be more than that. Or maybe she gave him some important details on the way too. And Peckham didn't save him! Gorge out! I, I, I realized Gorge out his eyes was to prevent him from seeing the, the moon. But Peckham's man... I... I, I don't want Peckums to die there. Somehow, maybe through all of the chaos, Peckums got away. That's the best bet, right? Yeah, but Brule, man, Brule shouting, shouting to the world, shouting to the world. Katakuri has been defeated by Straw Hat. Luffy, I saw it with my own eyes. She just announced it to the world. I mean, why? Why would she do that? I mean, yeah, why, why wouldn't she just keep lying to everyone? So, they won't believe- is it cause like, if she doesn't, they're gonna be like, Huh, Katakuri, where the hell are you, man? Like, maybe if, you know? Maybe she had to explain to everyone, so they- I mean, either way, it doesn't look as good as Katakuri, but like, real Katakuri fans would keep following him, like, Brulee, Brulee's crying for her brother, unlike Flam- Flampe. Well, Flampe got mad because, one, he yelled at her, and two, she saw like, the- the jaw marks, but Brulee didn't see that. All she saw was her beloved big brother Katakuri fall. So she, uh, it was pretty cool seeing all the Germans use all their attacks. Cause like, at first when they made their appearance on 
the wedding cake like you know they did their like super sentai power rangers transformation it looked really cool and even though they were like they saved the straw hat they got utterly defeated by higher ranks like smoothie and uh, katakuri like i just always remember ichiji just holding up a bloodied e katakuri holding up a bloody ichiji do you remember that always remember that so when he easily defeated oven i was like that's cool that's cool but when like i don't know i when Yonji defeated that dude that Sanji was having a problem with, I was kind of like a bit sad because I wanted if if Sanji defeated Yonji but Sanji couldn't defeat that guy, why does Yonji get to defeat that guy, right? The guy with the big cannonball looking spear thing. I guess they have to show the Germans and they had their costume on so maybe they're a lot stronger. Maybe when Sanji fought Yonji he didn't have a suit on so that's why he won. And Niji really fast got Sanji and then threw him as far as he away as he can and in this matter I'm assuming this happens in a matters of seconds just so fast. Could be some minutes but definitely some seconds and just Oven is just like he got a hit he, that he didn't see coming and like the time he took to get back up it was too late Sanji was already flying towards our ship and even though they're like shooting out their cannons Reiju comes in save the day and you get that flashback of yeah this is the time like look go to escape get out of here don't look back and never come back to this place but like I said I hope this is this is not the final farewell and this definitely lives up to the the title is will definitely return does that mean implying the germas will see them again i hope so or does it mean the germas return to fight back the big mom pirates you know yeah if you could explain the title and what do you think is gonna happen next like I, I'm just thinking uh, Smoothie and Katakuri somehow catches up and they fight there and then Sanji has his moment defeating Daifuku just cause like Smoothie is a woman he's not gonna fight her so maybe Nami it could be a team effort Jinbei is there or they just like escape but I feel like they have to defeat Daifuku like Smoothie has not done anything right since her like first appearance it's just a running gag and yeah tell me your thoughts on this chapter I really enjoyed this chapter yeah, just waiting for that Sanji moment. Is That's all I'm waiting for, that Sanji moment. But other than that, great chapter. I really liked it. Tell me your thoughts down below. I'll be sure to read them. And uh, peace out, guys.